I hate getting all these emails from the school. Constant updates. It's Professor Flick's birthday. That thing in the pool was a Snickers. Someone stole the Magna Carta from the library, but don't worry, it was just a copy. It's too much. They're clogging the airwaves. They should at least leave some room for the birds. Conservation's for the birds, Emma. You're a bird. Now say you're a bird, too. I'll show you a bird, Nicholas Sparks. No, no. Paige is much more a tippy hedron type. You're right. I've walked through one spider web once. Get over it! You're obsessed with me. Damn it, Jay. Did you tell her that? Judith! The sea witch cut me a deal. Our secret for a pair of human legs. Oh, well, how are they? I'm a regular Mrs. Robinson. Damn! Jay, get your foot off my desk. Meeting time. Sir! Sorry I'm late, guys. Car broke down. Again. Brings the car trouble count to four this month. Feeling nauseous is still winning with... Seven. His lack of accountability makes me nauseous. <gasps> At least Sawyer's consistently late. <coughs> ah, yes. If there's one thing I love about Sawyer, it's his consistency. And his massive carbon footprint. <coughs> You're late, Jane. I've been here. I was just cleaning There's up. no need for a crazy excuse, Jane. Just sit down. You two ready to pitch? I'm pitch ready, on the mound. <laughs> Good one, Paige, but... And back on the bench. I'd really like to hear what Tweedledee and Tweedledum like are laughing about. <laughs> Good one, Soy. It's a little early for volunteers. We don't need you yet. Intern. Volunteer. Intern. And it's never too early for an intern, which is what I am, an intern. Can we start? Slow down, Ace. We're still waiting on a guy. Hey, guy. Rough morning? Ragweed. <coughs> Wrong miss. Car trouble. That's four times now. Boy, that means nauseous is still up. <laughs> nice of you to join us, guy. Let's uh, make an effort to be on time. Hmm? News waits for no man. <laughs> Killing it with the aphorisms, sorry, dude. It's past nine. Can we please break some stories now? I actually have something fairly urgent, so... Okay, Paige, you're right. I guess you should start. Thank you, fearless leader. Joseph B. Stalin. Mouse slow down. Wait, wait. Uh, I'll postpone. Can't you see we're trying to get some work done? Work done? Like you know anything about getting work done? It was just a joke, Jane. Lighten up. Jane, it's okay. Just sit down. I will not sit down. You people are always telling me to sit down, and I won't take it anymore. I want to speak. I want to be included. I was the only one not invited to Sawyer's birthday party. Did you know that? Technically, there was no birthday party. We pranked him. You didn't miss anything. Yeah, none of us went. I ate a whole sheet cake by myself. Jesus, how many calories is that? This is what I mean. I'm not in on the joke. I'm not included. No one hears me, and I demand to be heard. Ever try a hotline? You are terrible people. I'm done. I don't need this. I have other friends. I have a blog. And guess what else? Today is my birthday, you assholes. Bye, Jane. Do you think she was confused? I had her birthday down as next week. We'll manage the loss, but uh, you guys can cover with extra work. I can help. Great. Now we don't have anyone with bulky enough arms to refill the water tank. I have to stay hydrated. I told you. I've been working out. You sure? I hope she has a good birthday. <laughs> Where were we? Breaking news. First up, I saw a tweet saying that the movie club is screening Willy Wonka tonight, and I really think that there's a story there. What? Students enjoy heartwarming film? Riveting. No. The whole thing is unsettling. It's about a grown man obsessed with children. I already have the headline. Cinephiles? More like... Enough! There's nothing there. Have anything that doesn't defile the name of an American hero? It's Gene Wilder, Cage, Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein. The producers. Stir crazy. <coughs> Come on, guys. Let's move on. I need a nap. You just woke up. 
I tire easily. Like a sloth. I swear, any more rest and I fear you'll never wake up. Aww, you fear my death. I fear your funeral won't be catered. Next, I have... Actually, um, can I interject here? I have something related. It's still my turn. Sawyer? I think it's about time we do a story on the local homeless population. Get the attention of the city government. Oh, boo-hoo, we've seen it a billion times. It's a serious issue, unlike your vendetta against Willy Wonka. He lures children with candy. It's not for us. Let, let Channel 2 take that one. We have to do serious news at some point, Sawyer. We're a news station. CNN would do this. We're not CNN. We're University News. Find a different angle. It's pretty straightforward. Then we have to drop it. Anyone else? I heard this prince, Prince Twite of Lip, is going to visit later this month. We could do a story about what students think about having a prince on campus. Or follow him with a hidden camera, catch him naked. I am a fan of the nude. Ew, don't flirt with me. Oh, oh, I wasn't flirt. We just, we just think alike. I, I brought it up to the dean, you know, a similar idea, but, but it can wait. We can wait on it. What, did he send you a Snapchat? Text. It was a picture of a prince and a, and a clock and a non, no smoking emoji. But we can wait. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm okay with waiting. Okay with waiting? That doesn't sound like you. A little out of character. <laughs> Call an exorcist. Call the Pope. Not my Pope. No Pope of mine takes the bus. Well, guys, I'll be in my office. And uh, promise I wasn't flirting. I was just, okay, we're done here. But we have nothing to report. Let's just run a repeat from Tuesday. We've been doing that razor blades in the Milky Way story for months. It's a good story. That just happens to be yours. It's an important cautionary tale. What is your obsession with demonizing candy, Paige? Something from childhood? Haunted honeymoon. We're past the wilder bit. Got it. What did I miss? Nothing at all. Be ready for the run rundown at one. But we have no stories. We'll figure it out. I believe in you guys. Come on, drink the Kool-Aid. We don't do anything substantial, ever. Oh, Em, don't you know? We're simply vessels for the great truths told through roadwork announcements and pet care advice. And when we're lucky, fires. Come on, cheer up. I'll put on some music. What do you want? Slater Kinney, Fugazi, Ocean Sounds? Okay, Ocean Sounds was a stretch, but... Look at your phone. Why? Just look. The email from the dean's secretary? It says to check his blog. Cute. Not so cute. Is he? Cutting us? Someone wake Sawyer. Now. Sawyer! What is it? Are we shutting down? Um... You knew about this? I was looking for a good time to tell you guys... Sleeping Beauty. Snap to. What the hell is going on? Administration thinks the money is better spent elsewhere. Something about us not producing much. They're right. You wouldn't even run my report on the decline of the local fish population, which, by the way, I wrote into your hand. If it's just money, we can get money. Jay, your mom's an alum and she's rolling in the cable news cash. Ask her to help. I don't know if... It's not just about the money. They also said our reporting style is embarrassingly shallow. Then let me run my homeless story. Jesus, Emma! No one cares about the homeless. Sawyer, I have lists and lists of story ideas. Let's just do them all. I'm sorry, guys. It's out of my hands. And we don't have enough time. You're unbelievable. What do you want, an apology? I'm sorry if we suck and the school decided to do something about it. But it's not immediate. We have a couple of days. Does this mean I'm not going to be on TV anymore? The true loss. This is a First Amendment violation. It's freedom of the press. It would be if we reported stuff. I'm screwed. I'm unhirable without this on my resume. I'm David Schwimmer post friends. We have to do something. Sawyer just said there's nothing we can do. <laughs> we have no choice but to prove we're worth it. We have to stand up to the man behind the curtain. The Iron Curtain. What's happening? He's been waiting years for the appropriate moment. The miracle speech. Great moments are born from great opportunity. That's what we have here. We just need one show. 
If we did 10, we might fail at 9, but not this show. Not our next show. This one we report. We stay with it, and we don't shut down, because we can't. On our next show, we are the greatest news team in the world. You were born to be reporters, every one of you. Well, except you, Sawyer. Yes, yeah, screw that, call me. I'm sick and tired of sitting around and doing nothing. So screw them. This is our time. Now let's go out there and take it. Thanks, coach. I didn't know you like hockey. I hate hockey, but I love monologues. Hockey and monologues aside, Jay's right. If we really try, we might actually have a shot at making something good. And they can't shut down good. Something good. I'm in. Me too. Uh, did you hear my speech? I was amazing. Obviously in. So in. Okay. One more show. I'll Skype the Dean and see what he says. I'll Skype the Dean. Don't mock. I hope that we're all in this together attitude wasn't just hot air. <laughs> Lukewarm at most. I'm gonna get started. My list is long. We have a lot to cover. Can't wait. What was that about mocking? Old habits die hard. <laughs> With a vengeance. What do you think's on that list? An investigation into Oompa Loompa working conditions? An expose against gobstoppers? She's a Veruca Salt if I've ever seen one. Except I think Paige might be physically capable of laying an egg. <laughs> the event of the century, Girl Scouts Goose Spawn. A golden ticket for one and all.